Hey what is going on guys, welcome back to another video. So the other day someone was asking me will the charging speed slow down if I use my phone when it's charging. So let's answer that question right now. Let's do some tests and see if the charging speed really slows down when we are using the phone versus when it is in sleep mode. Now before we begin this video, if you like my content, make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube for more content. Also as a little experiment, I'm recording this video in 1080p 60fps as opposed to 4k 24fps. So do let me know if you prefer 1080p 60fps or if you prefer 4k 24fps. So you can see everything is a lot more smooth in this video versus my 4k videos which are in 24fps. Now before we begin the video, I want to clear out this little thing. There are many idiots online who claim that if you charge and use your phone at the same time it will give you cancer or the phone emits radiation while it's charging and there are some group of people who also claim that charging your phone while using it will damage the battery. Well all of these claims are complete sugar coated bullshit and don't believe in them you can totally use your phone while it is charging without having any issues. Do you guys know there are billions of dollars which go into research and development of such smartphones and big brands like Apple, Samsung, Sony all of these companies will make sure that your phone is completely safe and it passes stringent regulations so you can totally use your phone while it's charging don't believe in all those bullshit claims online which say that you should not use your phone while it's charging so feel free to use your phone while it's charging you don't have to worry about your phone exploding or catching on fire well unless you are using a third party unbranded charger which has no regulatory certifications all right that's it let's go ahead and begin the video so guys in this charging speed test video we will be doing three different charging speed tests Number one, I'll charge the phone when I'm using it, I'll play a YouTube video, browse Instagram, maybe browse the web, I'll make a cellular phone call and then I'll also try and use a little bit of camera. And we will see how the charging speeds are like. Test number two, we'll drain the battery back down to 20% and then we'll charge the phone up with the screen turned off. And then we'll compare it with the screen turned on and see how the charging speeds are like. And finally for the third test I'll switch the phone off and then we'll charge it with the phone powered off. And we will see if switching the phone off makes it charge faster than the other two methods. And for this particular charging test I will be using the charger and the cable which was supplied with the phone. So this is the charger and the cable which came with the phone. This is a Samsung charger and this one has Samsung adaptive fast charging. And you guys already know the phone that I'm using is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Okay, so the battery is down to 20% and guys, the way I'll do this test is that I'll charge the phone for 30 minutes for each of these three different tests and we'll see how much percentage charge we can put inside the battery. And after that, we'll compare the three results and see if it really makes a difference in charging speed if you use the phone versus the screen being off and versus the phone being switched off completely. Okay, so got the stopwatch ready. And man, look at the temperature outside. It's 42 degrees Celsius outside today. And let's go device care battery. All right, so I'm going to plug this thing in and start the stopwatch. Is it charging? Yes, fast charger connected. So start the stopwatch. And I think I'll just fast forward through this part because you guys won't, don't want to get bored watching me use the phone for 30 minutes and by the way uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth mobile data everything is turned on and brightness is at 50% I might de decrease the brightness or increase it later on but yeah Okay guys, so here we are. It has been 30 minutes since the phone has been charging and now we are at 55%. So first I'm just gonna unplug the phone and stop the stopwatch. So we started from 20% and now we are at 55%. So that means we were able to put 35% charge in 30 minutes. So the phone was charging faster than 1% per minute. That's okay. So what I'll do now is drain the battery back down to 20%. I'll drain it normally 
so I'll probably come back tomorrow. I can actually download a game and play and drain the battery forcefully but I want to drain the battery normally so I'll continue to use the phone normally, drain the battery back down to 20% and then repeat the test. Okay so the battery is back down to 20%. So let's begin the part 2 of our testing process. I will be charging the phone with the screen turned off, but the phone itself will be turned on. And rest of the settings are the same, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, everything else is turned on. The only difference is that the screen will be turned off, that means I will not be using the phone when it is charging. Alright, so let's plug the phone in and see how much charge we can get in about 30 minutes. So let's plug it in first. Yes, it is charging, so start the stopwatch. Put the phone to sleep so go to home screen put the phone to sleep okay so one more thing i'm going to do here is put the phone on a stand so that it does not heat up from the back so i'm going to put the phone like this and continue on charging so we are one minute 39 seconds in phone is charging so i'll be back at the 30 minute mark okay guys it has been 30 minutes since the phone has been charging with the screen turned off let's check the charge level Okay, we are at 55%, so that is exactly the same result we got when we were using the phone. So once again guys, there was absolutely no difference in charging speed when we were using the phone versus the phone screen being turned off while it was charging. Alright, so for my final test, I will be switching the phone off and then we'll charge it from 20% for half an hour and see how many percentage charge we can put inside the battery. But I don't think many people switch off their phone just to charge it because it is sort of inconvenient and most importantly you will not be able to receive any calls or any text messages while the phone is switched off. Anywho, the battery is back down to 20% as you can see. So let's uh, fire up the stopwatch first. Alright, the stopwatch is here. I'm gonna switch the phone off. So after switching off, just wait for about five or six seconds. Alright, so it's been a minute since the phone has been switched off. Let's plug the phone in and start the stopwatch. Just wait for the phone to start charging. We should see the battery percentage. Alright, so the phone is charging from 20%. I will be back at the 30 minute mark and we'll see how many percentage charge we were able to put inside the battery. Now, I've noticed that the phone is a little bit warm to the touch at the back. Uh, front side is also slightly warm, but yeah, nothing too extreme. It kind of feels like the phone is more or less at the same temperature level when we were charging it with the power turned on. And if you're wondering, the temperature in my room is 28 degrees Celsius and the temperature has been consistent 28 degree across all three different tests. We are almost there guys and there you have it 30 minutes so let's check the battery level 55% holy crap it did not make any difference when we were using the phone versus being the phone being switched off I thought it would make two or three percent difference but it actually did not so 30 minutes it's at 55% that means we have gained 35% charge in 30 minutes in all these three different tests Alright, so I'm gonna unplug the phone and turn it on now, it's at 56%, so that proves that it does not make any difference in charging speed if you use the phone versus the phone being uh, switched off and charging and versus the phone screen being switched off and it's charging. Now, the reason why there was no difference in the charging speed when we were using the phone while charging versus not using it is because the charger is powerful enough to supply enough current to the phone to compensate for the extra power requirements while we were using the phone. And of course, the phone is also designed in such a way that it pulls more power from the wall charger when it's in use while charging. So guys, there are four different factors that affect the charging speed of your smartphone. Number one, the smartphone itself must support quick charge or adaptive fast charging. I think almost every smartphone these days support quick charge or some sort of fast charging feature. For Samsung, it's called adaptive fast charging. So this is a Samsung charger. This one has adaptive fast charging. And Samsung phones also support Qualcomm Quick Charge. Even the Exynos version supports Qualcomm Quick Charge. So a charger which has Qualcomm Quick Charge support will have this logo on it. And this is MediaTek Pump Express logo. So the Sony charger supports two fast charging standards. So number two, the charger itself must support Quick Charge feature. And different brands have different charging standards. I think OnePlus has something called Dash Charge and so on and so forth. So number three, your USB cable must also be capable of supplying extra voltage and extra current quick charge demands. 
So Samsung Adaptive Fast Charging charges the phone at 9 volts at 6.7 amps and Qualcomm Quick Charge goes up to 12 volts. So it says 12 volts at 1.3 amps. Now if your phone already comes with quick charge or fast charging charger, chances are that the brand will supply a fast charging capable USB cable with the phone. Now the fourth and the final thing that affects the charging speed is the temperature of the battery. Whenever you charge a lithium ion battery it gets warm and that is completely normal. But if you are charging your phone when the ambient temperature is very high, say like in your car there is direct sunlight falling on your phone, then chances are that your charging speed will slow down or if it's extremely hot your phone might not charge at all. I'd recommend that you charge your phone when the ambient temperature is low stay like at your home and in this test I charged my phone when the ambient temperature was 28 degrees celsius in my room. It's really not the quick charging that kills the battery but very high temperature does. Like here in my country the daytime temperature goes well above 42 degrees celsius in summers so if you use the phone standing outside in such hot weather that is not good for you and the phone's battery. So I think you really should not be worried and feel free to use your phone while it's plugged in and charging. Alright guys that brings us to the end of this video and I hope I was able to answer some of your questions that you guys might have about charging your battery. And as you have seen in this video, on these new modern smartphones with quick charging features and powerful chargers, it does not make any difference in charging speed if you use your phone while it is charging versus the phone being switched off and charging. Alright guys so thank you for watching, if you have enjoyed the video, please press the thumbs up button it helps a lot and do follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube, all the links are down in the video description. So guys, thank you for watching, do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.